Bali is one of the most exotic tourist destinations in the world. Hands down, it's a magical blend of people, culture, nature, weather, culinary delights, activities and nightlife. There are also certain characteristics that are uniquely peculiar to Bali. For instance, did you know Balinese babies aren't allowed to touch the ground for the first 105 days and are being treated as angelic beings? Join us in this video as we explore how you can create your own little heaven on earth in Changu Bali Beach and get pampered like a Balinese baby and learn the reason behind this tradition at the end. Get ready for the Bali travel update. Pick up your yoga mat and let the adventure begin! Go scuba diving in Changu's crystal waters. Indonesia is one of the top scuba diving destinations on the planet, boasting crystal clear waters, colourful marine life, vibrant coral reefs and double the number of marine species found in the Great Barrier Reef, 3,000 to be exact. It is a scuba diving and snorkeling paradise. Take your marine adventure to another level by exploring the best scuba diving spots near the Changu, including Penjor Reef, Jaladi Willis and Channel Point. There's also Tulambem on the northeast coast of Bali where you can dive in the USAT Liberty Shipwreck. If after scuba diving you need something to rest but still want to spend a bit more time underwater, why not try feeding and swimming with the white reef sharks and black tip reef sharks, not inside a large aquarium in a mall but up close and personally in their natural habitat. There are multiple companies in Changu offering elaborate shark conservation programs where you can visit to learn more about sharks, feed and swim with them. Eat at one of Changu's trendiest restaurants. If you are a local food explorer wondering where to eat in Changu, this small strip of paradise is brimming with cafes, restaurants and street food vendors. Whether you are looking for seafood, authentic Indonesian, high-end and local, Mexican, Spanish, Peruvian, Italian, vegan or raw food, you'll find it in Changu. Enjoy a light breakfast or lunch at Shadi Shack, a casual cafe serving excellent coffee, homemade cakes, smoothie bowls, healthy juices and more. Looking for a healthy, authentic Indonesian meal instead? Warung Bu Mi on Jalan Batu Balong will treat your rumbling belly well. If you are a seaside lover, enjoy an exquisite dinner at Hotel Tugu overlooking the ocean views. And if you plan your visit on a Thursday, you'll be lucky to experience Hotel Tugu's excellent cultural performances. Drink at one of Changu's coolest bars. If it is happy highs that you are after, Changu is really to shake, stir and serve you some of the best sips around. Here you'll find plenty of cool bars, cocktail spots, hidden speakeasies and late night clubs where you can dance and party into the night. Top on our recommendation list is Old Man's which occasionally hosts live DJs, bands and late night parties. If you are into crafted beers however, Black Sand Brewery offers a variety of crafted beers and cocktails against a backdrop of green rice fields. The brewery's epic kitchen sent out bistro style bites like miso glazed prawns, whole grain pizzettas and black chili mussels to wash down everything. Try a smoothie bowl in Changu, along with its epic cocktail spots and boundary pushing restaurants. Bali is renowned Insta Heaven. Whilst most restaurants serve this quintessential healthy breakfast, no two smoothie bowls are made equal in Changu. If you are a healthy nut looking to pack calories before hitting the beach, some of the popular smoothie bowl spots in Changu include Nalu Bowls, Cafe Organic, and Cafe Vida. If you love to scout around, however, there are many other places in Changu serving smoothie bowls so you can try somewhere different every single day. Stretch out with a yoga class in Changu. It's impossible to quantify or characterize the energy tucked within the Balinese psyche until you step foot onto the island. Also christened the Island of Gods, Bali has become a mecca for yogis and not just because this ancient practice is a major part of the culture but because it is one of the most healing places on earth. So popular is yoga in Bali that every year pilgrimages of yogis and yoginis and spirituality seekers stream from around the globe to celebrate and learn more about this ancient practice. If you are visiting Bali, you can try Changu's yoga retreats that combine 
vinyasa flows and cooking classes or Uluwatu's yoga retreats that combine surf trips. For a more large-scale yoga practice experience, you can head to Ubud, which is the famed yoga capital. Here there are multiple terracotta temples surrounded by tranquil, natural surroundings with hazy mountains and miles of rainforests, offering you a serene environment to hone your stretches. Enjoy a traditional Indonesian massage. Balinese massage is a full body, deep tissue treatment that utilizes gentle stretches, reflexology, aromatherapy, and acupressure. Introduced in Bali between 600 and 800 AD by traders, Balinese massage bears the hallmarks of Indian Ayurveda treatment, Chinese acupressure, and Indonesian beauty rituals once used by the royals of Java. Indonesian massage is renowned all over the world for helping stimulate stimulate blood, oxygen and chi energy flow, as well as promote deep relaxation and overall well-being. If you are a hardcore bargain hunter, there are plenty of insanely Indonesian massage parlors and spas in Changu, charging anywhere between $60 and 70 Indonesian rupees. But if you want a plush Changu spa experience, there are trendy chains like Spring Spa and the Komo Uma Changu Wellness Retreats. Things not to do in Changu. Whilst Changu is one of those bucket list destinations, it also does have a few traps for first time visitors. It could be legal, cultural, behavioral, or religious, which is perfectly normal for a country that receives millions of foreign visitors. To ensure you enjoy your holiday without offending anyone or having to look over your shoulder, here are some of the things you should avoid doing in Changu. Whether in Bali or any other place, it is only civil to respect the local customs and traditions. Balinese people in particular are polite and welcoming and a simple hello or om swastiastu in the local dialect brightens anyone's day. Isn't that right? During your stay, you'll come across multiple temples and religious shrines. Naturally, you may want to visit some of them to worship or even capture memorable moments. Your gender notwithstanding, it is a custom to dress appropriately and leave your shoes outside to avoid offending the locals. Indonesia doesn't take high narcotic offences. The country has some of the strictest anti-narcotics laws in the world and the last thing you want is to find yourself on the wrong side of the law. As such, avoid purchasing or selling narcotics or you'll end up in jail. Jail. But seriously, why risk a lengthy jail term when you can get high on Changu's gorgeous natural beauty? Lastly, if you happen to be driving a car, a bike or a scooter, honking continuously is considered a disturbance. Most drivers just honk a couple of times, which is enough to signal the other drivers. Although not necessarily illegal, it is considered a nuisance. Needless to say, if you don't have a valid motorcycle license, you are only legally permitted to ride a motorbike that is under 50 cc. There are some of the things that you should not do in Bali. As you can see, most, if not all, are pretty much applicable everywhere and common courtesy. Avoiding these will establish your small heaven and the unwinding visit to Bali you intended. So when is the best time to visit Changu, Bali? The best way to enjoy your holiday or vacation in Indonesia is to visit at the right time. Luckily, Bali has two seasons only. The wet season between November and March and the dry season between April and October. The average temperature hovers around 79 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year, although humidity spikes during the wet season. The high season in Bali begins to climb in April and dips significantly in August. Hotel prices also mirror this trend, peaking in June, July, August and September. There's also the Christmas holiday period when tourism sees a significant boost between November and December. And now, as promised, let's explore the coddled beginnings of Balinese babies. This practice derives from an ancient customary belief that newborns are angelic beings and deserve to be treated with veneration. As a result, they are constantly carried by their mothers or close relatives until the first three months period elapses. Spiritual connection aside, wouldn't it be nice to be cuddled and, and carried all the time? You bet it would. So what is the one thing you love most about Changu in Bali? Let us know in the comments. We will be happy to read them.